So I know my lighting's terrible, that's because I don't only have my lamp on, not my overhead lights on, but let's just get straight into it, so I don't waste any more of your time. First off, for skills, it doesn't really matter what you bring, but I would recommend this one. I have no clue how to fucking say that, so, you know, excuse me. Basically, it allows you to free yourself from a cloaker or a zapper uh, once per match, which is really good. Now, you don't have to get that, but if you don't, make sure you just be, you know, really careful when you know obviously when you're in the game second off nothing else really matters except the armor except this you know you're deployable i suggest you bring armor bag just because i feel like that's the best choice uh nothing else really matters bring your gun a choice but one thing you also want to do is go into challenges go into combat and then pick a couple of combat challenges out keep them memorized take a picture of them so you can kind of you know work on them while you do this next thing you want to immediately go to touch sky go on overkill Go in invite only or uh, friends only, doesn't really matter. And then I'll show you what to do once we get into a match. Alright, so now that we're here, you're immediately gonna mask up and just open this. You don't have to kill these guards if you don't want to, because your AI teammates will, will deal with them. Um, and if you want to, optionally, you can bring a hostage in there with you, just for some extra leverage. Um, now where we're going actually is we're going in here. The bathroom literally right here. Put your hostage down, tie him up, make sure he's not, you know, getting stuck on the wall or something or else you won't be able to pick him up and use him. So f next thing I want to tell you guys is do not place your deployable in the bathroom. You, At least for me, you will not be able to use him. Actually, I'll just do this right now. Watch this the one time it will work. Yeah, but no, see it's not working. Usually it be gives you the option and be like, hey... You're full armor, but for me, you know, it's not. So just don't place your armor in here. It won't work, you know. So just place it probably right here or right here. And the reason why I'll tell you that in a minute. So there's two things you can do. First off, well, first off, you choose which way you want to, your door to open. Because there's two spots you can go to. One of them would be right here. And preferably you want your door to be facing this way and then just you know shoot the lock so it'll stay like that permanently and that way once your teammates go down uh they will spawn in the bathtub they won't move because they'll somewhat be stuck Granted, i think they still can get out of being stuck but they will be stuck in here and they won't shoot any enemies until they fully like come in here which would be really nice because usually that's only shields and a couple swats which will give you know which you know so, so you can just sit right here while they're all like right here and you can just get the kills while they can still support you right however a lot of the deployables you may not be able to use. The only ones you'll be able to use if you know if they place them right here. The second spot is what I recommend for the second spot is you open your door like this, shoot it again, you know, and then get up here, and then you're already in a crouching uh, crouching position. Get on top of these tiles and then get you know right here. Now this will cause watch to pile in a lot faster. It seems like at least for me, and so you do got to be careful about that. But if you want to do that, that's fine. And remember. Just have some challenges in mind to do while you are, you know, uh, doing this. You know, preferably combat challenges because those are the easiest. Like, you know, I have one where I got to get like 200 kills with this weapon. And it's how your AI teammates die just because they're going to be useless to you right now. And another position that, like, you can do is if you want your door to be swung open... Uh, this way, like inside, you know, not this way. You can make your uh, teammates spawn right here, and they'll stay there. Granted, they won't be as useful, but you can use the deployables a lot more. Also, you, one thing you want to be careful of is if you sit on here, your AI teammates die. They will spawn up here in a room you have you don't have access to right now. And I don't know how Hoxton was down twice, but I won't question it. You know. But yeah, that's just the best way to grind kills and to also level up, at least I found. Now, there's a better way to, you know, level up. I'll make a video on that later, you know, when I find out about it. Right now, just, like, do this for 20 minutes, and you should, even you should either level up, like, a full level, then some, or at least half a level. And then just sit here, kill cops. Especially because on, like, normal from Overkill, there doesn't seem to be that much of a difference between the loud, at least not that I noticed. I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot more cops, but other than that, the damage you take, you know, 
how long they take to kill seems to be the same, but yeah, I'm gonna end the video here, and happy killing, everybody.